Hey, hey! Hey, real talk, everybody! We're talking for real. For reals, real talk. Hey, hey, gang! Hey, everybody! We have a message for you! Real talk! Because it's time to talk about the Passion Agent Conference! Open mic special information Open coming your mic. way. We have some information for you on how to actually engage if you are going to do the open mic. Yeah. So we're going to show you a special preview of what an open mic looks like and give you some tips, tricks, and do's and don'ts. That's right. So Passion sh agents. Shall we get started? <laughs> Let's get started. Tips, tricks, do's, and don'ts. Tips, tricks, started. Go. Yeah. Welcome to the Passion Agents Open Mic Session. Our first participant is coming to the stage. He is a sixth grader with a lot of facial hairs. Pablo E. Diaz from Beachwood. Please welcome Pablo who's going to talk about vlogging. I am so happy to be here with you guys today. Thank you for having me. Again, my name is Pablo Diaz and I want to talk to you about vlogging. I really enjoy vlogging. I mostly tell stories with this camera. Hey everybody, we got some tips, tricks, do's, and don'ts about the open mic session at the Passion Agents Conference. Go, All so. right, I want to talk about eye contact. You have to have eye contact, good eye contact, great eye contact with your audience so that they know you're paying attention to them and you're delivering the material, especially for them. It's no good if you talk and you're looking at the floor. That's boring. People want to see your face. They want to see your excitement. So practice, and Pablo's going to tell you more about that. The other thing is have props. Bring something with you for the audience to look at, for you to manipulate, for you to demonstrate. So think about do you need one prop or two or three or four or maybe a series of props that you use at the beginning, middle, and end to help you demonstrate your process or your passion. So those are two tips for you and now Pablo. And remember, take those things that Mr. West just talked about and have that eye contact and utilizing those props in succession together. Make sure that you're practicing over and over to tie it and wrap it all up and get that nice bow on your presentation. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit more about movement. Okay, so when you're on the stage, use the whole stage space. So remember, you can stand back from the crowd for effect and move up to them to demonstrate a point. You can stand on one side of the stage and face one side of the audience, and then move and face the other side of the audience, and you make your presentation dynamic by incorporating movement. Now, more with Pablo Diaz. Pace, pace, volume, and clarity are super important. So if you feel like you're going too fast, slow it down, calm yourself, use that movement as some of your pace, right? And be clear and remember to project Push air out into the audience and so they can hear you nice and clear. All right, yes, you can do it. Here's a little trick. If you wanna practice presenting, stand on one of the side of the street and pretend your audience is on the other side of the street. Can people hear you three lanes of traffic over? Practice it. So, we've got some do's and don'ts maybe. Real talk. Yeah, so remember guys, we have a whole community of people there to hear you yes. out. And they're really interested in listening. Yes. Let's keep things appropriate. School appropriate. School appropriate. Yes. Classroom that's appropriate. That's no right. profanity. No. Make it friendly for families. There's gonna be families there, little that's brothers right. and sisters. Keep Make, that in yeah. mind. Keep that, keep in, that mind. in mind. So if you're coming mm -hmm. up here, open mic, we encourage you to do this. This is a great thing for you guys. Let's just make sure that we're minding our P's and Q's. That's right. This is real talk. Real talk. Peace. Peace. Peace.